Hello, I'm Susan Fisher, Chair of the Department of Entomology at OSU. One of my prized responsibilities is to teach Biology 101 every fall, a class of 700 or so non-majors. It's become increasingly common for students and parents to call for teaching both sides of controversial issues, like evolution or global warming. Sometimes people capture this idea in phrases like, teach the controversy. As a teacher, I'm happy to take these requests seriously, and it is in that vein that I offer this video. Having discussions about controversial issues is frequently muddied by misconstruing or deliberately misrepresenting what scientists mean by key concepts like hypothesis and theory. In order to have rational discussions about evolution, for instance, we need to understand what scientists means by these terms. Or to put it into a catchy phrase, we need to know the difference. Scientists frequently use the terms hypothesis and theory. And although the precise use of these terms is critical to understanding the scientific method, there's little understanding of the scientific meaning of these words among the general public. Something that someone comes up with that they have an idea about, um, gosh. Um, it's their reason, re reasoning for something, some, for something, I don't know, something like that. And theory is just kind of like what you believe <laughs> to be true. I don't know. That's what I would say. <laughs> um, uh, a theory is something that is supposed that seems like it does have facts to base it up, but it hasn't been proven. Oh, school is over. And a hypothesis would be um, a statement of a theory or something that you're going to test. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Your That's turn. what she said. Theory. That's um, their educated guess. And of course, it's not just young people who are confused about these terms. Plenty of school board members, policymakers, and authority figures don't know the meaning either. So what exactly is the difference between hypothesis and theory? In science, hypothesis is a provisional conjecture or preliminary explanation as to the cause of an event or relationship among things, frequently taking the form of an if-then statement. Hypotheses must be testable, usually by experiment, and they must be falsifiable. That is, the hypothesis must be capable of being shown to be false if it is untrue. In contrast, the National Academy of Sciences defines the word theory as a well-substantiated explanation of some aspect of the natural world that can incorporate facts, laws, inferences, and tested hypotheses. In other words, a scientific theory is a unifying explanation for a spectrum of observations, inferences, and tested hypotheses. In science, theories are the ideas about which scientists are most certain. Scientific theories are not unsubstantiated speculation or baseless conclusions. Theories are the bedrock of our understanding of nature. A quick and easy way to think about the scientific meaning of the word theory is to review a list of well-known scientific theories. All of these theories are clearly well-tested ideas, supported by diverse lines of evidence, and capable of explaining much data and many observations. Why should you care about the difference between hypothesis and theory? You will be called upon as a citizen, voter, and a parent to make decisions about a variety of scientific issues. In order to render thoughtful decisions, you must understand the nature of evidence supporting different points of view. Now a theory 
is when a hypothesis has been proven without a doubt, without any contradiction, to be absolutely correct. Then it becomes a theory. So, that's it. <laughs> well, a theory is a uh, well-tested and generally accepted hypothesis. So, uh, the difference that comes to my mind is that a hypothesis is something that we're not absolutely certain about yet. It's something that we expect may be the case. It's something that we hope we can find or demonstrate with the data that we've collected. So a hypothesis is a testable idea that you can test using the scientific method. You can either support it or reject it. You're never going to actually prove it. You can only say that you support it with your data. And I would say the theory is um, a hypothesis that has been supported with um, overwhelming data and has now just been accepted by the general public as being true. In other words, you need to know the difference. I know the difference between hypothesis and theory. Do you?